Hello and welcome to another episode of Rubicon Unlimited. I'm James and today we're going to be talking about this new radio that I've installed into the Jeep. This is the Sony XAV9500ES. All right, so this Jeep has needed a new radio for a while. I'm going to admit when I bought this thing new, the radio was already pretty dated for the time. It had one of those touch screens that you really had to press into. Anyways, I don't need to explain it. You guys are familiar with that thing. Um, there are a lot of radios out there on the market these days, and there's a lot to choose from. Pretty much you could fit any radio into any vehicle with the right adapters and kits and bezels and wires, whatever it is. It gets pretty daunting. Um, when I was looking, I had a few options in mind, but ultimately I wasn't sure based on the reviews if it would work in my specific vehicle. And that's the biggest thing. Uh, when you're doing a radio install, you're making a pretty big commitment. You're spending a pretty decent amount of money and ultimately you don't know if you're gonna get what you really wanted. So for me, I had a rental vehicle and I was exposed to Android Auto, wireless Android Auto, and it was just amazing. It was so seamless. I got in the vehicle, it recognized my phone, it showed me some recent searches in the map. You just tap it, it routes you along and you're ready to go, your music all plays. It was beautiful, seamless, and honestly, that's what I was looking for. So I went online, looked for a bunch of options, and honestly, I wasn't sure what to get. So I found an amazing website, Trail7, and they pretty much bundle radios, build them out so that they're wired, plug and play, ready to go for your specific Jeep. And it gets down to the year, it gets down to what kind of audio package you have in your vehicle. You let them know which one you want, you let them know your vehicle, and they ship you a box that has everything you need. They pre-wire things. It's pretty much a plug and play install. I don't think you can find anything easier than that. So like I said at the beginning of the video, I went with the Sony XAV 9500 ES, which is their elevated standard, elevated sound line. So it's one of their top end radios. And I went with that because I figured if I was gonna go and change my radio, I'm gonna go all in. I'm gonna go with a bigger screen. This one, as you can see, kind of floats outside the dash. They actually have another version that doesn't do this. It's less of like a tablet style and more like the stock in the dash radio. So if you're looking for something like that, that's also available. Um, Trail 7 has just a list of different brands. They have all the Alpine style radios. Um, they really have a great list of uh, options out there that will fit your needs. This was right up my line, exactly what I was looking for. It has the wireless Android Auto, has the wireless CarPlay, and that's those are the creature comforts I was really excited for. Now, there were a lot of bonus surprises when it came to choosing this radio because it has completely awakened the audio in here. Like, it sounds like I have new speakers. It sounds like I have a whole new system installed on top of just this head unit. So that's absolutely incredible. And that's one of the features of this radio is you have so many parametric equalizers and ways of changing the sound and boosting your sub and doing all sorts of cool stuff to make your Jeep sound the best. And honestly, I am so impressed by this thing. So I'm gonna show you a bit of what comes in the box, what Trail 7 sets up for you when you order a radio like this because like I said, they will set up the wiring depending on what you've chosen. So uh, one of the options here is you can include a camera and that's a big one for the JKs. They never came with a reverse camera. So if you choose that option, you get the bracket to install the camera at your spare tire. The radio comes pre-wired so that it's plug and play and the camera gets its signal on top of power. So that's all ready to go. They set that up. If you, if you just go and source your own parts somewhere else, you won't get that. They won't have it wired up for you. So Trail 7, they get it all ready to go. And it's awesome. 
I'll leave a link below so you can check out, browse all their, their catalog and see what they have available. Because they sell the head units. If you want, you can get a kit where you get new speakers. You can pretty much retrofit your vehicle to sound incredible. So uh, shout out to those guys. They have an awesome website. And I'm really glad I found them for this, this Jeep. So you're gonna notice when you receive your package from Trail 7, it's gonna be repackaged with everything that you need for a plug and play installation into your Jeep. When putting through the order, you're gonna have the option to choose whether you're gonna retain your Sirius XM. Uh, if you wanna include a backup camera, you'll also notice that you have to choose what year of Wrangler that you have and if you have the Alpine system or not. That's because these guys bundle your system with everything that you need for your specific year of Jeep. So once you go all through those options and make your choice, these guys bundle everything together and make this thing really painless. So your wiring is professionally taped and includes all the harnesses that you need that are gonna plug right into what your factory Jeep has. There's even connections here to retain your factory USB location in your center console. That's all here and ready to go. If you decided that you're going with the reverse camera, you will get your bracket to hook it up to your spare tire. The radio will also have an implement on it to send power to that wire. So you don't have to think about any kind of wiring situation. You just need to run the wires, make the connection, and you're good to go. Everything comes nicely organized. You've got a bag here with the installation parts, and, and these guys clearly know that I have a sweet tooth, so there's a pack of nerds in there for the install. Um, we have our microphone, we have our GPS unit, everything ready to go so that this thing is super painless to install. So just going back to what's in your package, this is the brains of the unit here. This is the head unit. And pre-installed, you have the uh, fit kit pretty much so it adapts into the slot where your factory radio would fit. That's already installed and ready to go. And here are your pigtails for the camera. So that's ready to go. Here is that power wire that I spoke about. We've got the USB. Uh, extension, you know, all the factory implementations for like your radio, that kind of stuff. And don't forget, like, when you're ordering with these guys, you picked your year. So they programmed the Maestro unit, which is pretty much what this radio needs to communicate with your steering wheel controls. All the stuff that's stock feeling to the Jeep gets retained and can be used just like before. So that is super important because otherwise you'd have to go through that all by yourself, figure it out all by yourself, and there's a lot involved here. And then, of course, the actual radio interface. I haven't opened this one up, but uh, we will after it is installed. Okay, so now that you've seen what comes in the kit, I kind of want to show you how awesome this radio is. So like I said, off the bat, you get in the vehicle. This is the home screen that you would typically see. You can customize it. Um, you can change your wallpaper and it's got a ton of features here. So let's go through the software and then I'll show you some of the hardware stuff that's also pretty cool. So you have your classic radio, you know, you maintain your radio connection. So you have that here. You have Bluetooth. so. You know, other people can connect their phones. This is a cool one. This is super cool. So you have gauges and they're customizable. So you can see your coolant temperature here, RPM, intake temperature, fuel percentage. Uh, you could do like a zero to 60 kind of thing. Um, you could change your units, of course. You could change the layout of the units, of the, the gauges. And what's really cool about this is, this is really awesome added value because if you could see over here, I have a little gauge cluster on my A-pillar that I went out and bought that communicates with the Jeep so I can always see my transmission temperature, my oil temperature, my coolant temperature. And this thing, I'm embarrassed to say how much it was. It was very expensive. Whereas it, 
it was built into this. So if I would have had this radio first, I would have never bought this. I mean, it's still nice to have that display there at a glance, but this is awesome. This is readily available and yeah, you get a whole radio with it. So sweet. Okay, next up, this is another cool one. So if you go into vehicle info, you'll get a little bit of diagnostic on your vehicle. So we got tire pressure here. We got our battery. It'll let you know if you have a fault code. Pretty cool, it knows when doors are open. That's pretty cool because uh, as you know, scanning diagnostic, if you go to the shop, that costs money. You might not have a scanner yourself it's got some cool features here. Okay, so another killer feature with this radio, and it's one of the highlights here, is you've got options for three cameras. I mentioned earlier that you could have the option of your reverse camera, but because this is a Jeep and you might be taking it out on the trail, having a camera in the front of the vehicle, it is so valuable because sometimes you don't know what's right in front of you and having a camera installed in the front would be beneficial for that again sirius xm if you use it and you let trail 7 know that you want it for this radio they'll add the receiver for that as well so that's super cool you have that option here i opted out to that but anyways you've got it now wireless android auto and carplay that was the killer feature for me. So yep, yeah, it's already enabled. You have all your apps here that are uh, accessible to Android Auto. But for me, I typically go into this view where I have my maps ready and I have my music. That's what I use when I'm driving. So that's awesome. You can pan around your map here. Here's a little bit of Toronto. And then we got our music and it sounds awesome. Um, this is Spotify, you can like songs. You could do all that stuff that you would imagine. You know, you can browse podcasts and news and discover more music. And because it's this is specifically Android Auto, you obviously have the voice assistant. So when you're driving, you could say, hey, play X, and it'll, it'll chime right in. Um, and that being said, of course, Trail 7's got your back on this again. All your steering wheel controls work. So, like I said, the voice assistant, well, now when you press the, uh, the voice button, voice assistant comes up. Press it, talk, tell it what you want, boom, you're done. Um, you've got all your volume controls, all that works. Press the phone button, that works. So, super, super, super sweet. It's like everything you would expect, perfect. Now, the software, amazing. Now the hardware on this specific radio is incredible. Like the fit and finish is super great. This screen has this really beautiful anti-glare feature to it. Um, you got nice hard buttons up here. You got a voice button, next button, volume button, home button. And then you have two programmable buttons here. So I've got this little touchscreen pad so that will mute. This one will take you home. And that's pretty sweet. Now you might be wondering, this screen floats off of the dash a little bit. It's adjustable. So I've actually lowered mine quite a bit, just enough so I can still hit my, uh, my uh, window buttons here. But otherwise, it's not in the way. It doesn't intrude. You can add some tilt to it if you want. But uh, yeah, I like it how it is like this. And uh, yeah, I honestly couldn't be happier. Uh, there's lots of options out there available. So like I said before, I'm going to leave a link. You can check out what Trail 7 has to offer. And uh, yeah, browse their site. They have some cool stuff. So um, yeah, maybe you'll end up with a 9500 ES. Maybe you'll check out some Alpine stuff. But uh, either way, I am, I'm pretty sure you're going to be happy with your options there. So um, yeah, let me know down below if uh, if you picked up one of these radios and what you decided to go with. Um, and if you haven't already, please subscribe because yeah, I love making these videos for you guys. So let me know your thoughts, hit the subscribe, and we'll see you next time.